Welcome to Dallas Sports, Ryan here guys, don't forget, I'm going to ask you, please like, subscribe and then share, okay, we can't do this without you, so I'm asking you, spread the word, okay, we love the fact that we can make videos and encourage people, try these things out, especially young players, you can be whatever level, if you apply and you put in the hard work, you will get it out, okay, what I'm going to focus today for you is to show you especially scrum halves, when it's a quick ruck and the ball is presented, all right, you need to time your run. Where you, when you arrive at the ruck, you scoop up the ball and pass, and on the run, you pass the ball. It's not planting feet and look and then pass. It's just on the go. This will set you head above shoulders for everyone who don't do this. I'll show you. I'm playing that way. I'm gonna run. There's my first receiver. Okay. The ball's on the plate at the ruck. This is what you should be looking at. Time your run. Okay, take your inside foot close to the ball. Scoop the ball and pass it on the pass. Carry on running. That will help you with your running lines. Because if there's a line break, because you've been running and passing it sets you up okay to be the first support runner on the inside that's why world-class scrum halves like I'm not gonna name names but guys like the scrum half from New Zealand or from France you know they score a lot of tries because they're smart with their lines their running lines they on the go and then they expect a line break so once they pass I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna go okay watch Okay, so I'm gonna, that's the rock. I'm gonna approach the rock. I'm gonna hit, hit the ball with pace. I'm gonna put my body weight over the ball. The inside foot is close to the ball. I'm gonna bring the ball, good grip, to my ribs, and I'm gonna punch the ball towards the target. And then I'm gonna run. So all of that's gonna happen in one movement. Let's have a look. It's all about quick rocks. As a nine, you, you dictate the pace of the game. If you can get the ball out quickly, you're always a threat. I've said in previous videos, run the show, don't be the show. If you want to be the show, run the show. If that makes sense. When you do your job, that's when you being the show, automatically. Bring energy to it, have a look. Oops. Power, technique, brings good balance, composure, okay? Okay, so guys, so I've fallen away from the pass twice in a row and I, and I didn't manage to hit the target. Even though it's still in front, that's where we want the ball, isn't it? You always want to set, make sure the ball goes in front. You don't want players to catch the ball behind them. But even though I was falling away, the ball was still going in front. But now, I want to hit the target. What do I need to do? I need to stay in the pass longer. A split second longer. So when I'm passing, stay in it longer. Don't come out of it too early. Because it will affect the pass. Let's see if it makes a difference. So as you can see, I stayed in it longer while I'm running across on a 45 degree angle. Okay, nice and low, right? It just takes a few seconds and it helps with the, the traveling of the ball, okay, to stay nice and crisp. As soon as you fall away, okay, you're affecting the pass. Stay in it longer while you're running. It'll look stupid and feel stupid. You just do that. Let me know how you get on. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.